What is happening there, Reject Nation? Aaron Alexander is back with me. Yo. We are going to do a movie reaction. First time watching the film Kung Fu Hustle. Here's the truth. I think I saw this once when I was like 15, but if you were to ask me what happens in this movie? What is the plot? Anything? I could honestly not tell you anything. I don't know jack about it. Oh, it's gonna be one of those experiences. Like even recently, I was rewatching the first season of Stranger Things, and I was like, I don't remember any of this. <laughs> so you can imagine how I don't remember any. Just uh, more than 15 years, I'm like, I really don't remember what happened. So it's gonna be fresh. Look, all I was trying to do is remain truthful for you guys. However. I think I only thought I saw it because after doing this movie reaction, I really think this might have actually been my first time watching this. He's never seen this movie ever. This was recommended to us a bunch and I was like, this sounds like a fun movie. So yeah, if you guys can leave a like, that'd be very much appreciated. Full length watch alongs where you sync up with the time code for Kung Fu Hustle will be over on our Patreon page. We cover a whole bunch of other stuff over there as well. Subscribe, click that notification bell to get notified when uh, we put up another movie reaction for something else out there. In the meantime, let's enjoy. And thanks to the Prepper Boys for helping us edit these down. Let's do it. Crime busters. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, damn. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. Uh, <laughs> 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 Whoa, oh. shit. <laughs> Damn. The Axe Gang. Right on, Axe Gang. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Damn. <laughs> okay. Okay, leg day. <laughs> it's like a Looney Tunes cartoon. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bro, you gotta pick it up a little bit, man. Just just like four hey, inches. You could take a lesson from him, Aaron. I could, bro. I'm taking a class. <laughs> Dayo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh god. <laughs> what the fuck? Was <laughs> 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 an elephant? <laughs> Oh no, the real Axe Gang is here. Oh dang. Oh snap. <laughs> what in the water, brothers? <laughs> yes. The axe call. <laughs> There's such like a sincere whimsy to this movie. It's very creative. <laughs> oh god. Oh, that's messed up. Jesus, guys. Is this movie gonna stop being funny? I just hope they don't dance after this. Someone's got to save him. Yep. Hello, new character. Oh, 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 oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh dang. They're all just so talented. <laughs> it's the most badass village I've ever seen. Oh! <laughs> Now. Yes! <laughs> yes! He's got the rings, baby! Oh! <laughs> Great wire works. <laughs> nice. Was that his ult? These professional martial artists just wanted to live in peace! <laughs> I've always thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't pass it up. I'm pretty sure the that's the director of this movie. I think it's Stephen Chow. Oh, really? Damn, y'all. Gross. Damn, they could all pee on the same time? Y'all got a lot in there, This is huh? impressive bullying, right? right? They all pee at the same time. <laughs> Creative. <laughs> Coordinated. Yeah. <laughs> Why do those look half eaten already? Uh-oh. <laughs> Is that the girl he protected? I think I think so.
They keep calling her fat, but she doesn't look overweight She's not at even all. fat at all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, snap. Siren. Oh my god. Oh snap. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Heavens, good Lord. <laughs> what a brothel. This is such a strange movie. In the best way, though. <laughs> It's like the Roger Rabbit world. It's like a cartoon mixed with an actual good kung fu movie. <gasps> oh. Oh.杀手榜排行第一位。错，第一位嘅应该系终极杀人王，以至于练功走火入魔。听说。Oh, we need to see him. Might as well. <laughs> oh, nice. like this guy. You're screwed. I want him to die. You didn't really know anything about him. <laughs> I still like him. <laughs> He's got some sick moves. Oh no! Ooh. What? You killed the cat? He's got eight more lives. It's fine. Wow. Oh. How do you oh. fight these people? Oh my god. At least he could sense it. Oh. <gasps> How do you fight this guy? <laughs> <No. Yeah. laughs> okay. All right, just superpowers now. We got super strength. Cool. <laughs> Tag <Damn>. team. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is so good. This wire work is so good. <gasps> oh, snap. Oh, you're done. You're done. Ooh. Ouch, 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 mm. ouch. Oh my god, her screams can counteract it. <laughs> oh, damn. <gasps> well, now you're screwed. What are you gonna do without the strings? Don't know, go to. <gasps> no way. Oh! <laughs> Holy balls. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. The drunken master. Sleep happy master. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, we just got whole dudes now. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
Black Canary, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh, 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 shit. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rooting for the Axe Gang now. They're the underdogs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Uh-huh. Yep. Why <laughs> <laughs> do you speak Chinese? Why do you speak Chinese? <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Donut! For Donut! <laughs> <laughs> no, she held on to it after all these years. <gasps> oh, what the oh, fuck, dude? No, it's the last time I'll be a hero. <laughs> oh, they're gonna break that guy out. Is that f those frogs? <laughs> 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 You done goofed, boy. Oh, <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow, they're right there. <laughs> oh shoot. <laughs> that hair though. Okay, let's, let's stop kicking. Let's try to use that scream again. Maybe <laughs> let's, let's switch it up, guys. There it is. Okay. Now we're using our ult. Oh, he ain't infected at all by it. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. God damn it. Wow. And her sleep. <laughs> oh, is this weakness? Is he venom? Is he allergic to sound? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I was like, what is she doing? <laughs> Oh my god, finally some damage. I'm gonna trap him? Oh, you're screwed. No, don't listen to him, kill him. Oh, what the fuck, dude? You admitted defeat. Dishonorable. Oh, what a funky position to be. <laughs> hey, switch some teams. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, damn. Uh oh. Phase two of the boss fight. That's a big fist. Oh. 
Ooh. What was your plan here, dude? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, shit. They <laughs> 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 mummified him. Shinsan Quachi, King Majun Tu, Mse Better Chi. He's the chosen one. He's the butterfly in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> you put that together before the movie put it together. <laughs> oh. Let's see what you can do. You know he's the protagonist of his goatee shaved off. He's the one. He's j ah! <laughs> I called it! Yeah. <laughs> 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 Big boy stuff. Get up there. Damn. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, hoo, hoo. Got him. He broke you out to kill you, man. <laughs> what? What? Is that like a bullfrog move? What's going on here? What? He's getting froggy on him? He really is a beast. Makes sense where frogs are on the way to his cell now. Yeah, good catch. Is this even his final form? Oh, gotcha on that one. With the birdies. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The power of the Buddha. You've ascended, my man. So then they explained it right before it happened. <laughs> oh, cool. cool. Wow. No, he's a faker. Don't do it. Don't listen to him. Oh. Yeah, body. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh jeez. <laughs> mm. Your ear should be fucked. <laughs> Oh, oh, fuck. Damn. That's neat. Everyone come out of your homes now. Come on, you're not dead. Come Everyone's on. Everyone's alive. <laughs> Still alive. <laughs> Aww. Hmm. Pop her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> His ass, ass is still out. <laughs> Someone put a lollipop in that ass. 
Oh, he's around. Just clean, just clean it up just a little bit. <laughs> Kung Fu Hustle too. So what's it? Where's the second one? That was fun. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Wild, wacky adventure. All right. So her and I are both pretty hungry right now. Starving to keep man. this short, but I feel like it's be easy to keep short. Um, yeah, you know, honestly, I don't even know if I actually saw this movie <laughs> now that I think of it because I was like, none of this is familiar to me. <laughs> so it was sometimes, you know, it's like I haven't seen, I remember like not long ago I was with a friend and he was showing me some Kurt Russell movie. And then when I was watching, I was like, wait a minute. And I was like 45 minutes into this going, I think I saw this once when I was a kid. And I didn't actually have that experience at all here of, I think I saw this when I was a kid. This this felt completely brand new to me. And, and even if I did see it when I was younger, I don't think I would have appreciated it as much because all like the types of style and tone and references to classic Hollywood, sometimes very overt, like with the Fred Astaire, uh, you know, poster in the background the looney tunes inspiration was very much there and i i loved like how it managed to infuse it with so much creativity and in a way that felt earnest it felt sincere like it didn't feel forced at all in how it wanted to honor all these different types of styles in a way that felt natural because a lot of times you could feel like i get what you're going for but this is kind of annoying <laughs> but this didn't annoy me it was always charming and at times the the fight scenes were just very impressive and dazzling so it managed to work on on multiple levels at times feeling like an anime too uh, i was very much impressed with this I, I thought it was a really really fun time Aaron, hi uh, I thought it was really fun too. I think that it is the perfect blend of goofy cartoonery and uh, badass action. Uh, the pacing went by really fast for me. Like it was, I was hungry the entire time. Like I came here straight from work and it just went by like that. It was such a breeze. Uh, the movie was uh, unexpectedly funny. I had no idea how goofy this movie was. I, as we were watching it, I had like vague childhood memories of like certain flashes of like of of um, the old like the, the old woman with like the cigarette and stuff and like her screaming. But I had no context for anything that was happening. And seeing it in its entirety was really an experience that I enjoyed a lot because they're like, oh snap, this movie's like wacky and crazy. But oh dang, they're like the wire work was insane in this movie. Yeah, I don't. Really watch a lot of Chinese movies and, and old school uh, Jackie Chan stuff, so it was really refreshing. It was coming at it for like, it was, it's uh, it was fresher for me. You know? Yeah, I didn't I didn't grow up with a lot of it, so I'm like, wow, such such artistry in the the fighting. It's so amazing. I mean, it had more of the classic types of. Uh, Peking Wu opera is what the sent from like Yu and Wu Ping, who did like the Matrix films and um, the Kill Bill, the Volume One, and uh, some other major Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon was <laughs> the biggest one. So yeah, like did those movies, and it had some more of that inspiration. But I like how it managed to still stay within sort of feeling like a cartoon because there were times where the effects were obviously just very cheap but charming effects, and then at times the effects were actually pretty. Cool cool and how they actually visually realized a lot of this stuff you know I, I i do think that the chosen one element of the story i was really into the axe gang i was really into all the the hidden kung fu warriors living out in that like poor village like the the landlord or husband that part was really interesting to me i really love that storyline and i did really like um stephen chow the main guy i thought like his performance was really entertaining and i really was endeared to him at the same time there was a part of when the chosen one element came in that didn't quite hit me in the way that i was sort of hoping it would hit me like it was cool and maybe it's the fact that we're both also really hungry, so we should have eaten before then. <laughs> Maybe. So, but, but there was there was something about it that felt like okay, yeah, it's it's just happening right now, and it, it wasn't 
like yes <laughs> or or exciting or the I don't know maybe something about the the build to that was it, was it was obvious it was going to happen but the build to it didn't feel as maybe cathartic or rewarding as one would have hoped but needless to say it was really entertaining it yeah. was always ex I think the main goal of this movie is to entertain you and just have fun and I think that, that it excels on that on all levels like it never felt like okay the joke's done or okay that I, I i'm used to this now like it managed to still have surprises throughout and still keep that inventiveness exciting and i think at the end of the day if you could pull that off for 90 straight minutes where because it was like that thing in the first 20 minutes I'm like okay this is really fun but we'll just get we'll, we'll just get boring and it didn't it managed to remain amusing and entertaining and and thrilling throughout with some very impressive stuff like even the way they started eventually infusing like when they did the reveal of the of the late of the landlord lady, her husband, I didn't see that coming with her husband at all. Like I was like, there must be something with the landlord lady, but with her husband, I was like, oh, maybe he's just some normal dude. So that surprises shit out of me, and then finding out a little bit more of that legendary quality to them, like you're that classic, you're the whatever couple they said they are you're that couple and then also with bringing out the villain there i thought he was menacing so there was a lot that i really did enjoy about it i, I thought that this was there's nothing really i would change i, I thought it was like pretty great <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i really enjoyed the the underdog quality of all the characters like when you first meet the people of the village like you really don't think much of them or especially the scene where they introduce that element where uh who the guy who eventually becomes the protagonist is like yeah i'll, t I'll take anyone in, yeah, from the audience <laughs> the tall dude and the old woman and then the little buff ass gator like what the hell so yeah just all the all the uh protagonists we saw in the the movie were unexpected heroes and i really enjoy that aspect of it and uh yeah i think a lot of stuff like he was saying was like uh, i really enjoyed the the couple and and yeah I, I understand what you you were saying about the uh the payoff not feeling very triumphant and that could be in part uh, for us being hungry but i think part of like I, I, to be honest, I saw the the twist of him being the chosen one for like maybe like the first 20 minutes of the movie. So I was like, okay, like I was watching it, enjoying the journey and, and enjoying his character arc. But I was like, okay, when's he actually gonna throw down and like be the man he's gonna be for the finale? Like I, I, the, the moment I knew that he was the protagonist when a uh, when they saw the two dudes like playing the guitar, I'm like, oh, it's the it's the scoundrel guy. He's gonna be the the hero of the story. Okay, cool. Yeah. So. I, don't know, I enjoy the story and I enjoy the, the action. I definitely see how um, it took both Chinese influences and American influences and smashed them together in this weird kind of um, unexpected hybrid that kind of gels perfectly together. It's like, it's not parody. I thought it walked a really great line between the goofiness of the movie and the serious aspects of the, the drama and the 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 pathos of the movie and yeah i think i feel like it's a very difficult task to achieve but this movie managed to to do it perfectly I, there was never a point where the the goofiness kind of took me out of the general story of what was happening yeah but it was it was meant to be fun like even though you're supposed to have a pathos i didn't i didn't feel a lot in this movie but i don't think it was trying to make me go to the depth of my soul to feel something so yeah I guess to close it, I have a, I had a great time watching it. Well, they did a lot of very inventive. It wasn't just only goofy too. I think like the guys with the piano, uh, the music, the instrumental ones. I thought that was really sinister and inventive in the way they did that. Like I've never seen anything like that in live action ever. No. Most of this I've never seen in live action ever. <laughs> so the fact that they managed to do like things that felt like an, an anime come to life in a lot of ways, I thought was so damn impressive. And it just, it, you have to find the right tone for something like this. And I think that's what's so impressive is like they managed to find that like Dick Tracy, Roger Rabbit type of vibe, but then also infuse it with this Chinese influence. And I, I think the thing with the chosen one is of why this because of why didn't hit as much is because the things that landed some more emotional impact were always the things that were more outside with with like the people from the village and and dealing with the axe gang directly like the the losses really came from there and then you would just like check in with the scoundrel <laughs> yeah <laughs> you just check back in with him and you know even though you got his backstory uh, a little bit of like oh he's actually a good guy at heart I think maybe it could have just been structured a tad bit different so that way the, the impact could have hit a little bit better or have him be more involved, you know, yeah. as opposed to just really 
being on his own and pining for the axe gang and stuff like that. Yeah, there are points where I forgot he was in the movie. I was like, oh yeah, this yeah, guy, yeah, he's here. Like I was, <laughs> I, I was never like disinterested in him. I always liked him. At the same time, I would be like more interested in what's the other stuff that was going on yeah, exactly. versus what it was going on with him. But it was still really exciting. It was cool. And like the whole thing with the palm at the end, I thought that was all fucking awesome. The final fight was great. But yeah, this was, a, I could see why this, this movie still holds up and why people love it so much because they, they, uh, they uh, to this, it's from 2005 and I still haven't seen anything like it. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, almost no. 20 years later. <laughs> yeah, nothing before, nothing since. I would love to see a sequel. They kind of set up for that. I don't know if that exists or if that's a thing, but I want to watch it now. Yeah. Because it was a lot of fun. But Aaron, Super thanks for cool. being here, man. Thanks for having me. We'll so return for Umbrella Academy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for being here. Subscribe, click that bell. Aaron and I are going to rush to go stuff our faces right now because we are starving. Check us out on Patreon.